Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rachel. Um, I usually do review beauty products. Um, sometimes I'll do a little bit of a clothing haul. I haven't done one in a while, so maybe that's what's coming up. But um, for now, I am going to review the new Victoria Beckham glosses. I do have a couple that I ordered here. Um, I do have it pulled up. I'm going to read a little bit about them. So the new shades are Bikini, Tan Line, Poolside, and Top Down. And Ice is the existing shade, so that was just a clear shade. So they are very nice and neutral shades. If I can show you my computer here, I don't know if it'll work, but they're beautiful. Um, don't think you'll be able to see this but just in case I pulled it up anyways oh this is what they look like so they're very nice and neutral so that darkest one I believe is poolside bikini is the lightest one I have tan line so I have the two lightest shades and then top down oh sorry top down is the darkest one so yeah, I just wanted to show you what those look like. And I also did order another um, eyeliner and that is in the shade Ash. And I'll show you the current shade that I own if I can find it. You know, I'm never prepared for these things. I'm the worst. Anyways, okay, sorry. I'll just read you a quick little snippet about these new glosses. So. She mentions they are, I'm going to put this over here, reflective, show-stopping, 70s worthy shine, incredible cushion, no stickiness. Victoria takes gloss from 0 to 100 with this hydrating lip plumping formula that is so clearly posh. Bikini is a pinky beige and I'll show you what that one looks like. First of all, I'll show you the packaging which is very beautiful. Um, so regular box Oop. never mind that um, but it came with this little note which I think is so cute obviously it, it's not handwritten but it looks like it is it says thank you for supporting Victoria Beckham Beauty I hope you love the products as much as I have loved creating them kisses BB X X so that was super cute and then they came just like this in the package, and it comes with a little makeup bag as well, which I think is a really nice touch. I already have one of these because I ordered the um, eyeliner, but I mean, you could use this for a lot. It's pretty big, so you can put a lot of stuff in there. So yeah, that is the packaging, and I'll show you what the shades look like. So we'll start with bikini and I'll show you a swatch of them and I do have to say I was a little weirded out because okay first of all packaging is beautiful this is what bikini looks like don't mind my lighting it might be a little bit brighter than what it should be because because it's dark outside and I have my ring light on so uh, so it did come like this which I thought was kind of strange I don't know if it has to do with like the temperature or it's not full but I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see because the reflection, maybe I'll just turn my ring light down for a second. Or off. So can you see what I'm saying? There's like formula missing. <laughs> There's like a big hole in it. So that's the only thing that I noticed right off the bat. But yeah. Second thing I noticed was, you know when you open a fresh lip gloss, am I the only one who does this? I like inspect my lip glosses before putting them on. You'll see that this part will all be clear because no formula will have gone through the top. Well, when I opened mine, it looked like that. Where it wasn't clear, it looked like formula had gone through it. And I'm like, um, I hope this wasn't used. Like the package, it comes open, right? But the box was sealed and everything so I don't know I tried it already so hopefully it wasn't open but 
Anyway, back to the color, pinky beige bikini. Very, very nice. I was most excited about this shade because I love like pinky nudes. And this one is tan line. And I have to say tan line looked the same when I opened it. So when I opened it, so same thing with this one. There was that like, it was already in the top, which freaks me out. And same thing with this. You can see it better there. It's like the product's not full. And I'm like, hello. But this is very beautiful. This is tan line. I was scared this was going to be too warm, but it's actually... It's actually pretty neutral. And tan line is described as a honey caramel. I would say that's a good description of both of them. And they are like pretty heavy. They're glass. And I love the... It's not tortoise. It's not tiger eye. I can't remember how they describe it, but just very beautiful packaging. So that's the two of them, and then I bought the shade Ash in the eyeliner. And I'm sure you've all heard about the eyeliner already. I don't really think I have to get too much into it. It's a satin Kajal liner. It does come with a smudger. Oh, wrong side. Comes with a smudger on one side. And then there's the product. And the shade is really nice. I would say it's more like a charcoal. I think they have one called Sea Gray, which, so it almost looks black. Um, yeah, they have one called Sea Gray, and that one I think is more like gray, gray. So you do have a lot of time to work with these. So as you can see, I smudged that out like nothing. But once they set, they set. So you do have some play time, but once they set, they are not going anywhere. And I really, really like these for the waterline. Like I said, I got the sharpener that it came with. And I noticed that when I used it, it was kind of like whittling down the wood. So I started using a different sharpener and that one seems to work better. So I would probably skip on the sharpener, but, but the pencils are really nice. So I just went over it with a little bit more. I'll just show you what like... You barely need to press. They're so creamy. The only thing I feel with these is that you're going to go through them very quickly. Like I feel like I'm going through my brown one very quickly because, because they are so creamy. You use more, obviously, at a time. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to try to find Coco because Coco is the one that I use in my waterline every single day. Sorry if I keep shaking my camera here. There it is. See what I mean? Like, I feel like I just got this not that long ago, and it's already quite used up. But, so this is Coco. It's a deep brown. So you can kind of tell now in the, in the light that that is a deep, dark gray. And Coco is a really dark deep brown. I kind of want to try bronze. That might be the next one that I try, but this is what it looks like if you do a really thick line and you smudge it out. So those are really quite nice. So you'll see this is the size difference. So I've used quite a bit already and I, like I said, I feel like I haven't had it that long, but I'll go through it like nothing. Okay, so I'm wearing something on my lips. I'm wearing the Makeup by Mario um, liquid lipstick in the shade Nude Suede, so I'm going to take that off. And this is my preferred method of removing. This one's actually not hard to get off, but if you use like a liquid lipstick. I always use a q-tip and I find it so easy to get off with a q-tip. And if ever I have super chapped lips, a q-tip will literally just like exfoliate my lips so nicely. Is that weird? I just do that. I know some people use a toothbrush, but 
I don't find like lip masks really do anything for me. Okay, so I kind of still have lip liner on, so maybe I'll just touch it up a little bit more. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it. So first I will show you the shade tan line. Yeah, I don't love that that was like that. Like it creeps me out. I just hope nobody touched it because it gives me the heebie-jeebies. But I've already tried them, so I mean, it's too late now. I'm in it. So on the lips, like on me, it does kind of look a little bit warm, but I'm okay with it. It's not like orange. We know I don't like orange. I'm sorry if you can hear like my lips smacking. So that's the shade tan line. It does kind of look orange here, not in real life more like that caramelly tone. So like she mentioned, it does not feel sticky. It kind of feels just like a balm. Feels like a nice kind of comfortable lip balm. I don't know what's going on under, under my eye here. I feel like I got some eyeshadow under there, but sorry. So yeah, that is the shade tan line. I really like it. I feel like I would do like less on the eye if I were going to wear this one. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I already knew that the pinky beige was going to be more my style. But I wanted to try both. Also, it's crazy how many lip glosses I've been reviewing because I'm not a lip gloss person. I'm definitely like a matte lipstick person. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with the bikini shade. And I can show you swatches on my hand too. But I find like it always looks so different on lips compared to the hand. I feel like on the hand, because my hands are so light, it looks way lighter on my lips than it does on my hand. And I'm going to turn the ring light off for a second because I feel like it's pulling more orange than it actually is. Oh, can you see? No. So it's actually a cooler tone beige, beigey pink. But on camera, it's coming off. Everything I do comes off orange on my camera. It's not orange. It's beigey pink. It looks like this. <laughs> Okay, so I'll swatch it on my hand here. And again, I have super dry hands, so sorry, 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 sorry. Can you tell I'm Canadian? All right, so that is tan line that I just swatched right there looks super orange but it's not as orange as it's coming off it is definitely more this tone than this and then bikini so again super nice beautiful packaging heavy glass um yeah lovely they feel so nice not sticky. If you're seeing like something in the corner, that's actually from the Q-tip. Excuse me, it's uh, I got a little fluff from the Q-tip. It's not like sticking or anything, but 
yeah, that's what it looks like. I really, really like it and I'm happy that I got them. And the packaging is beautiful and I really like all of the products I've tried so far. I think the one thing that I really want to try would be the, um, the blush, the cream blush and what else? There's a cream blush and I think maybe one of the lipsticks. But yeah, so far everything is really nice and I'm enjoying everything I've tried from Victoria Beckham Beauty. So hopefully you've enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you soon and I love you so much. Bye.